Right, so back working on the ditcher today. Done a little bit of work over the winter. Got the spool block mounted back up up there. And been playing musical hoses, trying to work out the best lengths. I've got a load of odd hoses off of all sorts of things I've picked up over the years. So just trying to work out what's best, what I can make use of, what's not, and what I needed new. Ended up with four new hoses. Spool blocks back up. So last thing needs to be done up there, I need to mount the seat on it. New seat. The other thing I've done is I've gone through all the rams. You notice that's not the original ram. It's a replacement. Gone through the laptop one. Cleaned it out. It's. I'm going to run it with these. I've just smoothed them over. So hopefully they won't knacker the seals any more than they already have. Just At the moment I'm just trying to get it running. So I can go through it and I can work it a bit and see what's wrong and go from there. So I've got the front ram off still at the moment. I've still got to finish going through that. It's in the parts washer, it's clean. So I'll pick, pull that out in a bit and get it put back together. And this is what's left of the main lifter ram that it came with. The rod's the same story as the others, it's got a bit of rust chip and pitting in it. Um, probably could have run it for a bit just to get it going, but so the main the main culprit of it not going back on is that. I don't know if you can see it in the video or not. There's quite a good dent in there, and the tube is actually curved at that point and bent. Something's Someone's left it, uh, whacked it pretty hard on there. Um, this is what's left of the seals and the piston. As you can see, there, that's the part of the piston. Should be like that all the way around. And it's scraped and worn away every time it's gone past that bend and dent and knackered everything, basically. So that is not usable. It might be salvageable. The ends might be salvageable one day. You can get a new cylinder, a new rod, but it'll get chucked in the junk pile for now. It might get used one day, may not. But there you go. So I went and picked up and I just scrounge around on Facebook and find and the replacement RAM. It's not the same. It's a bit longer actually which is a bit better. Um, I think it came off of a front loader. It's the tip of that RAM off a front loader off a tractor. Um, I actually picked up the full set of four. But the other, the main lifter rounds were too big, so one of these do perfectly. Um, I managed to get that plumbed in. Got a bit of an adjustment to do on the joint down there. I'll go through that later. So, yeah. So pull that other ram out and get it put back together. So these are the parts of the front ram. Just got them out, parts washer. Cleaned them off. Clean them off with a bit of clean rag, just get the last of the muck off and you'll be able to see down there. Maybe? No? Maybe not enough light. Giving them a quick in quick inspection, clean up. And overall actually this was the better of the two original rams. Uh, the rod's in a lot better condition. There's still there's a few knocks and dints on it, but it, nothing it won't run with. The only couple of bits of corrosion on it, one back here, near the piston end, and one out here. But the main operating area will be between that, I should think, so hopefully I'll just knock them off with a, I've got a diamond hone just to take the, any raised bits off, and it should be okay. Seals look alright, they'll last a little longer yet, but they will need doing. I'll probably replace the rod at some point, and we'll see. Might end up replacing the whole lot. Who knows? You know, just want it running at the moment. So, get that put back on.
thing coming out. Yeah. So I just got diamond tone. On it. Just knock off. It's roughness on those. Hopefully, will mean they don't do too much more damage to seals. Just got one spot there at the top, and that's it. Jammed when I first came in, really. Nice which one's which is going to be a bit trial and error. I'm not sure uh, which way the levers operate just yet. We'll find out. I end up having to take them all off and turn them all around. Two hoses I didn't take off in the end. I've not got anything that's anywhere near the same length. So just to stick with them. I've had a right go at this. So this is the pin of, that goes on the bottom of that ram we just put on. I've just put on. Um, I had a nightmare getting this thing out. You can see it's badly corroded and it's mushroomed on the end. I don't know if that's from me or from someone else previously trying to get it out, but it was stuck fast. That's the other pin for the bottom there for the linkage. So I'm just going to get that cleaned up, get that mushrooming ground off, and that'll be ready to go on. Both pins cleaned up. And that needs, I actually need to get a clamp on it, I think, and squeeze it in, and two pins in there. we 
position and sticking too far out. weld on there at some point when I've got the welder out. Just pull it off. There we go. There we go. And the bolts go in there. Okay, these are threaded holes. these holes were drilled at some point to whip it all together. They only line up one way. There is a greaser for that in there. Which I'll replace. I've got to do greases on the rods. And that's about ready to go. You see, there's got to be a link in here to the bucket. But I'll come to that another day. A little minor problem with my replacement ram came with these two hoses on it and they're not a standard um, British standard pipe thread or pipe fitting they're an opposite um, there is a name for it I can't remember off the top of my head I'll put it at the bottom of the page so I had to come up with a way of connecting them which I did in the end um, it's a the thread's the same, it's a bit of standard pipe thread, actual thread, it's a 5.8 thread, but it's an opposite to the standard hydraulic fittings in terms of the male and the female cones. So what I've, what I've worked out I can do is I can take the standard thread uh, male part with the internal cone and that will fit the female part of this type. And to join those together, I need a long nut, basically a barrel nut, to go over the top of the whole thing. These are the ones I could get, um, which annoyingly are too long, otherwise I'd put them straight on. So I need to trim it down, so I'm just going <laughs> to measurement of what I need. It needs to be an inch, basically. It needs to be an inch long, and it's... An inch and a half. So I've got to take half an inch off the end of that. I'll cut it off with the angle grinder and then uh, machine it up in the lathe just to tidy it up. Take take too long to just machine it or try 
kind of machine half an inch off the end of there on the little lathe I've got going at the moment. So, and then these are the new pipes I bought. These are half inch pipes, and then that's just a five eighths to half adapter fitting I've got on there. The same on that side. So get that cut down to an inch or just over. So I've got a power set up in the chuck. I've got it in a four jaw because so I've not got a three jaw that fits this lathe at the moment. Um, still a little over long, so I'm gonna face it down and then I'll for the inside and the outside. Put a chamfer on that on the outside, then I'll change tool and put the inside one on. ended up with a slightly heavier chamfer on the inside than original but that won't matter. So we'll go put that on. Giving the nut a quick clean, do the same with these ends. Be pressure tight. Do the other one. Get that one joined as well. And we should be good to go.
So I've got it all hooked up. I've done the modifications to the tractor to put a second line on it. I haven't got a top link long enough at the moment. The short one down there I normally use isn't long enough. So a piece of box section I'll have to suffice for the time being. Um, the only other temporary thing really is that's the return pipe. Um, I forgot to order when I ordered a bunch of hydraulic fittings. I forgot to order another quick connect. I got the female part. No, sorry, I got the male part. I need the female part to go on the back of the tractor. So I'll have to order one of them at some point, but that should suffice for testing. Everything else is hooked up and ready to go. So we'll, uh, we'll have a go.